it is that it's it's not particularly innovative. Bringing in some of the story elements is kind of unique, but I almost feel like this sort of gets it up to the level of all the other shooters. Yeah, it out has there. this parody with other shooters. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the thing is, you know, Uncharted Three, you know, it's going to be an amazing single player mm-hmm. campaign. I mean, they haven't really shown much of it, but even like those little gameplay snippets in the VGA trailers, like all that stuff in water. And I was, you know, I think talked with them about this on GTTV. It's like, imagine, you know, multiplayer on some of those water maps that you saw in the VGA trailer, yep. like, you know, holding a guy underwater. And I mean, there's, I'm sure there's tons that they can do there, uh, with the sequences. But yeah, I, I mean, I admire though that they're, they're pushing multiplayer when they don't really need to. I mean, Uncharted is a game that could get away with no multiplayer. But on the other hand, I mean, would you say Uncharted is sold as well as it deserves to sell? No, but I mean, a lot of that's, you know, function of, uh, you know, I think, you know, being on PlayStation only. Install base. And, and I mean, it's sort of like, you know, I think God of War is ahead of it a little bit, but God of War doesn't have multiplayer. I don't know. I like, I agree with you that, you know, it's great that they're doing it, but you know the single player is going to be worth 60 bucks yeah. Yeah. by itself. So I think the other stuff is, is an added bonus. So Twisted Metal, Mr. Jaffe's upcoming game. Always a favorite here at GT. We I love our not- Jaffe. <laughs> He's awesome. Now, I have not played Twisted Metal. Ryan is going to jump in here. He's been running audio for us today. He did get to see it. What's what's the dilly, yo? Uh, it's definitely Twisted Metal. I mean, just riffing off what you guys were just saying, it is still Twisted Metal. You right. have a lot of hits to take people down. If you're really good at the game, you can kill people. But there's still that kind of kind of learning curve to jump in there and actually kind of make that progress. You know, it's a fun game to mess around with. Um, they're definitely doing tons and tons of changes and focus testing. Um, uh Jaffe told me he wishes he could never show it to the press and just basically <laughs> have like a secret army of testers that were like assassinated immediately afterwards and just fine tune the game. But like the nuke mode from E3 was completely retooled, so now it's working on innings instead of simultaneous stuff. Uh. And you know, I, it, it's funny though because something like we'd seen the helicopter before, but they've invented the what's it, the juggernaut, the juggernaut, which is a great big truck, it's a anybody, Big Mac truck. Yeah, anybody who watched Knight Rider in the eighties will be very familiar with with that sort of truck. You can basically, it's it's a big tank. It's kind of slow as it trundles around. It's got it's got uh, mines on the side. It can drop out. But the really cool thing is you can have two. It can lower its uh, the tail, and two drivers can drive in, and then they mount. Um, it's like uh, Spy rear. Hunter. Yeah, but they got rear and mount, uh, mount and uh, front facing guns. The the vehicles are way more impressive. Like it's the Some the vehicles in the stuff. past twisted metals always had their own attributes and whatnot, but they were still kind of always like these are cars, or if you were driving around as that fucking idiot Axel, you were still basically a car. <laughs> you were just a <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, Axel's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <laughs> vehicle though does it does have a number of uses, especially in some Ex- of the new exactly. levels that they put in. The the cars have a lot more of a, a personality. Like yeah. they were even saying, like I can't remember what which one it was. Was it the 